What, what I have in mind is I like the, the height here just uh, to, you know, be as, as nice as, as full. As, yeah, yeah. Full, but high, keep it high. Yeah, I like okay. it. Here is just to make the shape nice. nice. Here, uh, I like it longer, but mm -hmm. I mean, you can take like at least to make maybe, it maybe an inch. I like that. The chisel. The, the length and the angle. The angle, yeah, to yeah. come in longer into the. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. What is going on guys check it out so this guy right here came all the way from canada he's originally from brazil that's why he's got that accent but he came through to get a transformation haircut and he's actually a business partner of mine as well um you guys might have seen him at hair shows especially like the i think the orlando premiere he definitely was at um but you could see he hadn't gotten a hair haircut in eight months they've been in lockdown in canada and the very moment he was able to leave um he took a flight here to florida and we made a transformation haircut out of the opportunity so we're clearing the bulk with a number four going straight up and you can see it's pretty much blending in so what i'll do now is i'll go with the grain to kind of soften it up and then go against the grain some more and all we're really doing is debulking and preparing his haircut for this ball fade so we're going to do a ball fade because i think it's going to do a good job of making the top the top look fuller it decides our our uh lighter so hopefully that makes sense to you guys and uh, when you guys see the results i think you'll have a better idea of what i mean and notice that i'm combing straight down and with my clipper going straight up all right so now we're going to go ahead and cut the top and all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and so because his hair needs to look full on top, I decided to go ahead and cut the length on top last. So we're just going to connect the hair, uh, pretty much layer it into the sides by pulling, taking half inch sections or inch uh, wide sections and just pulling it over um, with my fingers straight, like a straight uh, flat wall. Um, and connecting it to the side once I do that I got a better idea of a good length we can cut the top and I'm using pretty much the longest length until it starts to go into the middle as my guide and we're keeping it pretty long because that length is going to make the hair look fuller on top you guys can see the connection there Got a little bit of a corner there that we're going ahead and connecting. And now we're going to go ahead and start to bevel it to give it kind of a softer look here on the round the head so it doesn't look so heavy. And we're also making sure that the fringe is nice and even. And now we're ready for the fade. So I decided to do is start off with my one and a half guard and bringing up to about the middle of the side of his head. So in between where the very top that starts to curve into the top and the bottom of his hairline and then we're going to go clipper uh, one and a half close and then one and a half open so then you could decide what you want to do once you've done this you can continue to fade up and then you can do the ball fade into a one and a half or you could fade down um, but in this instance we're going to fade up so i'm using my number two guard close and then my number two guard open and then we'll pretty much just stack guards. The next guard after the two open would have been the three until it's completely faded into the top. And remember, we started off this haircut with a number four. So here's my number three after the two guard open. It's all the way closed. Now it's all the way open. And we're just gonna do this all the way around the head. Man, his hair was long though, right? And you guys can see it's already starting to get a nice transition into the top. So now what I'm gonna do is start to fade down with my one with my half guard all the way open. Because remember, we left off with that one and a half guard. So I'm gonna go half guard all the way open and then close it little by little. By the time I get to the half guard all the way closed. Then all I gotta do is go clipper close and open the lever up until it's faded. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. So look, we're at half guard all the way closed. 
for any reason we create a line we just open the half guard up a little bit to go ahead and fade that line out and if we wanted to this would be a shadow fade and we could just do a blade the blade all the way open but that's not the goal here so we got the clipper all the way closed and we're creating our bottom line anything be below this line is going to be completely bald we're going to use our trimmer and then our shaver but anything above this line is just opening your blade little by little by the time it's all the way open you're going to blend right into that half guard you left off with so clipper all the way closed then go up a little bit clipper quarter of the way open then go up a little bit and you're going up about a quarter inch of a, a, um, at a time again by the time your blade is all the way open or your lever is all the way open the fade should be completed and then all you're doing is touch up work And the blade is all the way open you guys can see the fade is coming together pretty nicely now there is a line there that I see it's a little bit dark we'll go ahead and touch that up in just a bit all right so I got my one guard on there and this is where I start to touch up that dark area and what I typically like to do when I'm um, uh, detailing with that one guard is I'll start off open and close it little by little if it doesn't do the job then I can play with it and and I could either go up to that one and a half guard or I could go drop back down to that half guard All right here I am with the one and a half guard especially in this darker area And I've never cut his hair before so I am learning as I'm going that's why I'm like kind of you know going to different guards here and there that's part of the process for me it always takes me the longest to cut my clients hair the first time ever after that we start to create some efficiency and it becomes easier All right, so now we're going to start to completely bald him out. Remember, we had a clipper all the way closed, but the trimmer gets shorter. So the reason why we're going to go straight to the trimmer instead of just bald him out with the clipper closed is because when I follow it up with the shaver, it's going to be less likely that the shaver leaves a line because the shaver is going to blend in pretty nicely into that trimmer length, but it'll probably leave a line if it was a clipper closed length. So one of the things that's looking pretty blurry, um, but one of the things that I noticed when I was looking at him from a side profile or from the back profile is that he has some hairs that were kind of sticking out around his ridge. So I grabbed that number four guard just to clean up in that area. You can see I was kind of floating it up um, straight up and trying to, to refine it a bit more. And then we followed up with these with these blending shears to kind of soften it a bit and blend it in a little bit better in this bulky area. All right, so now we're gonna start the beard work and his beard was not easy. Really dope beard, full, but we needed to get it shaped, chiseled, um, and really needed to make it so that it suited his face a little bit better. So we're blending it in, and then after we blend in the sideburns, we'll start to focus on the shape of the beard. And the clippers and the trimmers that I'm using are prototypes. They are not out. They're supposed to come out sometime next year, I believe. 
their product by Babeless that they're engineering. And uh, so far I've been testing it, it's been a great product. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and start to create the profile. This may or may not be the final link. I like to take off a little bit at a time because I can always take more hair off, not put it back on. And so what I'll do is I'll do a rough draft of the length and the shape. And then I'll ask my client, hey, is this good? Do you want it shorter? Do you want it, uh, and where would you like it sh shorter? Because they might want it only shorter on the sides, but not in the chin or um, chin area. So it's one of those things that you really need to tailor the cut to your specific client and ask questions. And the technique I was doing there with the comb is just kind of pulling the hair down a bit because especially with a big beard like this, it you know, hair will run away from your clipper. So you want to kind of give it some tension so you can make sure that you're actually cutting that hair. All right, now we're going to go ahead and start to clean up the line right underneath the beard. applying some shave gel notice I did not define the top of the beard with the trimmer but I'm gonna do it uh, with the razor it just gives me more control and it's a little bit more forgiving I feel like um, it doesn't take as much as much hair um, off at one shot and since he wants to keep his beard as wide as possible um, I want to make sure that I use the razor because sometimes the razor can make a line out of nothing it's crazy so th that's part of why you know we went with this with this uh order of i don't even know how to say what i'm talking about here. what the hell am i trying to say oh this uh <laughs> this order of technique i guess maybe all right just just ignore me all right so with the razor i'm cleaning up especially around the area around the hairline area and and uh, fading into the beard and then behind the ear above the ear I really like to clean up with the with the razor as well so I'm gonna add some clay because I feel like clay is good especially with thin hair it'll keep it looking full some control and give kind of like a, a, a dried look but I also applied the clay to the beard and utilized it as to act something like a beard balm since I didn't have one The trimmers definitely were, uh, these trimmers aren't even zero gap, but they were irritating him just a, just a bit. So I did apply um, 245 shave gel. Guys, look at the before. Are you kidding me? I did put 245 shave gel since it has aloe vera to kind of help. Look at the after. The before and the after is crazy. My man looked like castaways and uh, now he's back, man. So you guys, let me know what you think about the cut. We cleaned up his beard. We gave him a fade. Um, I felt like I feel like this cut definitely transformed his entire look. So the before and the after is just stupid to me. It's crazy. Y'all appreciate you guys. I will see y'all on the next video.